the general formula to find the eigen value of a matrix is this. Let's say if, if A is our matrix minus lambda i x equals zero. So now we have a short way of finding without going through all this calculation. The short way is that the first one is the lambda square minus the trace multiplied by lambda plus the determinant equals zero. When you say trace, trace of the matrix A equals sum of the diagonal, sum of the diagonal. The trace equals five plus five equals ten. That's the trace of this two by two matrix. The determinant of A will be the product of the main diagonal minus the product of the leading diagonal. So 5 times 5 minus 2 times 2. So I get 21. So now with this, I'll get lambda squared minus the trace is 10. So 10 lambda. Then the determinant is 21 plus 21 because zero. So now we have a quadratic equation. First you go to mode, then select five as your equation, then three is your quadratic. Then the third value coefficient of the s square is one, coefficient of the b that's the minus 10, then the constant that's the 21. So if you solve, you get lambda 1, you get 7, then the lambda 2, you get 3. So this 7 and 3 are the aging value of the matrix above. Therefore, this video will concentrate on how to find the aging value of a 3 by 3 matrix by using the calculator. And before we can find the aging value of the matrix, we have to resolve the matrix in the form in the form s cube minus b s squared plus c x minus d equals zero and after that we use the calculator to punch it and get our answers so now let me explain the terms the b here the b is the same as the trace of matrix a and if we say trace of a matrix, it simply means the sum of the diagonals. So therefore, trace of A equals the sum of the diagonals. These are the diagonals. So the sum of the diagonals speak will out. be 3 plus 3 minus 2. You will get 4. As the Now, this C the C equals the sum of the minus right? of the minus of the determinant so C can be M11 plus M22 plus then M33 so if I want to find the determinant of M11, that's the first one. I will cover this, then I'll cover this. We'll be left with this. And the determinant of this will be this times this. So minus 2 times 3, minus 6. Then minus this times this, minus 6, so plus 6. That's for this. Plus we want to find the tank of M2. This is the M2. I'll hold this, then I'll hold this. I'll hold this, then I'll hold it. So we leave it this once. I'll hold this, then I'll hold this. To define the determinant of this, it will be 3 times this. That's minus 6. The minus this time this. So plus 6. Then plus 
find the determinant of this that's the m33 i'll hold this then i'll hold it so we'll be left with this one so we get three times three that's nine minus this time this that's four so and the sum will be five so that's our c and the d equals the determinant of a then to get the determinant of a let's use the calculator to find the determinant of a so i'll go to matrix then i select a is three by three so one then i'll point the first one is three minus two minus two minus two three two three minus three then minus two as my matrix a now i'll go shift matrix determinant is seven that's the depth seven determinant of matrix a and matrix a is three so the determinant of the matrix a from the calculator is two so now our final equation will be s cube minus b where b is the trace of the matrix now we had four so four s squared then the c is the sum of the minor determinant now we have five so plus 5x minus d where d is the determinant that one is 2 so minus 2 equals 0 then after getting this we just use the calculator and point this polynomial now we have our polynomial like this s cubed minus 4s squared plus 5s minus 2 equals 0 so let's see how we point it inside our calculator to get the values of x we go to mode and the equation is 5 then this is a polynomial so we select 4 so the first we use the coefficient of x that's 1 s cube is 1 we have minus 4 we have 5 we have minus 2 so that means our x1 will be 1 s2 will be 2 and s3 equals zero so therefore the aging values for the matrix a equals one two and zero let me give you the final trick in case you are solving with objectives then it give you a matrix to ask you to find the aging value the first one is that the determinant is always the product of the aging with values. And the trace is always what? The sum of the aging values. So from this two by two matrix, the determinant is determinant of a is two times so that's four minus one times one one so the determinant of a is four minus one that's three and the trace of a is the sum of the diagonals two plus two that's four so which option when we multiply you get three and when we add we get four let's see minus one times minus two we get minus two so this one one times three 